G'day. If anyone else can put out a better video of this, and I'd appreciate it, because this is not as simple as signing off a petition. This is phase three on digital identity, identity uh, legislation, and it's all gobbledygook, so let's get into it. So anyway, this is all blah, 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 ministers forward, saying how fantastic a job he's doing, everything's fantastic, nothing to see, nothing to see, and you get to this, regulation impact statement, RIS. I've downloaded the PDF, and we have 127 pages. So why do we want this one open? Because when we download one of these Word forms for feedback, we get something that looks like this. Let's have a look at this. It refers to that document that I was saying, the uh, consultation RIS document. Let's pull that up again, there it is. And it says to go to um, page, first question, go to page 51 to 57 of this. Okay, let's go and have a look. So reading through this just briefly, um, it seems to be about efficacy, it's gonna streamline everything. Um, doesn't talk about social credit score, of course, which is the real uh, reasoning behind it. And it finishes here with a question very similar to the one in the form. I've answered it. I need my 100 points of identification rarely. Even then, I usually have my driver's license and Medicare with me if I do. It's not every day I have to sign up for a new phone plan or bank account. In fact, I do it only a few times a year. Uh, the current status quo is therefore is great. The proposal that a digital identity will increase efficiency is therefore fallacious. And added, and the least of my administrative problems. The next question refers to the next bit in the document, which is here. Option two, let's have a read. So having briefly read it, it seems to be about the keywords here are um, the current Status quo is non-legal, and they want to make uh, legally legal enforcement of this uh, digital identity, which is trouble, because we all know their agenda is authoritarian totalitarianism, so we had to go through this word salad to look for those key words. So, of course, that needs to be mentioned in the next question. So, I've written this little ditty here, saying 100 points of ID is fantastic. Any legally enforceable tracking, tracing, Information collection or policing authority ascribed to the government or other entities by the use of a digital identity legislation, legislation is a human rights violation, invasion of privacy. I might add, that'll do. Subject to abuse by corrupt officials. Now the last question takes us here. Let's have a quick read of this. So it's page 64 of the same document onwards. Well, it seems to be just um, spruiking how fantastic everything's going to be with uh, banks and who else here? Uh, the telecommunication providers, social care work. Basically, get all your information and it says here prevent fraud and whatnot. COVID 19 pandemic, there. Uh, costs of identity fraud. Look, it's nothing wrong with the current system. If you, if, if they're too lazy to see you in person with your identity to match your face on your driver's license or passport to you, then there's a problem, okay? That's fine. There's nothing wrong. That's how it should be done. Now, going further on, this is pretty heavy here. It says they're going to charge you for it. So charge you for this identity. You'd like an ATM fee, I guess. What's that all about? That sounds really dodgy. So to sum it up, all of that uh, material there in option three describes a level of privacy incursion via the digital identity uh, into multiple interactions between an individual and private entities, because it goes on and on about interactions, how it's gonna be fantastic between you and this entity, that entity, you prevent fraud, blah, 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 nonsense, nonsense. Like, and I've added this, like a social credit score system that can be abused by a potential authoritarian under democratic regime that would discriminate against political opposition, also known as fascism. So that's how I've answered it. I cleaned up a bit at the start because I'm, I'm only exclusively using whatever's in their drop down menu now. I found out that sole proprietorship is a sole trader, which is what I am.
I'm sure you can squeeze yourself into one of these definitions. So this is what it looks like, I guess, with my wonky uh, windows here. Good enough. That's as, as a PDF. That's what I'm going to upload. So we finish here. Go to uh, submission and uh, here we do that. Oh, here we go. Fill in your goodies here um, and upload your document here, and that's it. So that was hard work because you had to read through a whole lot of word salad. That's my interpretation of it. I'm sure somebody with uh, legal credentials or political background will do better than me. Uh, I'm a super expert on solar power and uh, all of the regulations involved with that and so on and so forth. So we've got to sort of jump out of our comfort zone here and become an expert just to fill in this form. So that was my version and I hope you do something similar or better.